Hello, welcome back to 16-bit, play bit by bit. I'm your Dave. This video will contain occasional swearing. Uh, this is episode 6 of Let's Play Secret of Evermore. In the last episode, we made our way back through the swamp on the way to the volcano. Uh, and uh, faced off against the giant snake that we got, uh, that we got killed by in episode 3. Um, but this time armed with way, way, way more healing. Um, um, as a result, we defeated it. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still meant to be heading to the top of the volcano. Which I am. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Actually. Just spoke to this guy's expert on swamp gas. Oh, he gave us a mud pepper, that's right. Um, but we needed the right formula for it. I'm gu oh, I guess probably what we have to do is take it back to Strongheart, actually. Let's try that. Maybe Fire Eyes. But uh, yes, we need to take it back to someone. Someone's, someone is not like me. Try that. How do we get out of this swamp? Why is everywhere in this game a maze? Why is everything a maze? I just went up to level 12. Nice. I was just thinking about healing. Um, and I leveled up. It heals you up fully. Your new total, which is higher. And it also happens completely without fanfare. Like, I'm not sure I've ever played another RPG where when you level up it doesn't ever go diddle ding Something of that nature, you know? There's no sound at all when you level up. Very weird. Twenty talons. That's a good point. How many talons have I got now? Over 2,000. Nice. Well, I'll be spending all that on alchemy ingredients. Right, I think the policy is going to be always carry the maximum amount of healing. Even, even how long that last boss took. I don't know if they're all going to be like that, but if they are, then be ready for that. I didn't even really know a boss was coming the first time I it, because you're meant to be climbing a volcano, that's what you're doing. And then you get to a swamp, which is a dead end anyway. And there's a boss there. Thank you. 
Whoa, dinosaur. Oh, Hunter is now level three. Sweet. I bet you when I I bet you this mud pepper is gonna let me somehow blow up that rock. But there's a um a cave that's been blocked off by a gigantic rock, like a big boulder. And it's very conspicuous that there's like this thing that I have no way to get through. Ow! Fucking raptor, man! Yeah. Have that. Back at the Mammoth Graveyard. That rock there. You always get swallowed by that plant when you come the screen as well. Yeah, that. Bet you we get. Bet you we get. We're about to find a way to sort that out. Okay. God damn it. Ooh, ooh, it's found something. Play. Nice. Let's rest up. We're doing it. Three thousand talents. Yes, please, my probe. Right. So I, th it makes sense to me that it's strong heart is going to help us, but it might be fire eyes. Fire eyes. Out. Nope. This one down to the left. Nope.
Oh, right, I'm still in the other part of the village. Okay. This one then. Hello, Fire Rice. No, she doesn't have anything different to say. Is this equip or an equip spells? Alright, oh, okay. Balcony as well. Right, she's not saying anything different. So. Let's. Go talk to Strongheart. No, he doesn't. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Oops. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, you can. Okay, so what am I meant to be doing now? Right, I'm supposed to use the levitation alchemy, which I don't have.
Okay, so I've uh, done things in a strange order. It's fine. Yeah, uh, apparently the... Um, uh, the the part that I found earlier where it was all rocks and there were like guys just throwing me into the air, apparently that is the volcano. Uh, and I just didn't didn't go through the correct sequence of geysers to get to the top of it. What you would normally do, apparently, or it, this is the way this is the way you're expected to go through the game. You get to the top of the volcano. Someone teaches you the levitate alchemy, which I don't have because I've never been to the top of the volcano. And then, and then you find, oh no, I can't cast the levitate alchemy because I don't have the ingredient for it—a mud pepper. So then, then you go to the swamp, then you fight that monster, and then you get given the mud pepper, and then you're like, okay, now I can do levitate. And that is what I was thinking was a way to get through that rock. Right, okay, so let's rest, and then let's go up to the top of the volcano. Slash 38 time. I thought you'd level that again. Just use it whenever I like, whenever I fancy, basically. Oh, from having glanced at the guide briefly, I mean, the thing I was missing was doing a charge attack with the beer. Missed it. Fuck! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that did um, over 200 damage. It's like 10 times the amount of damage I normally do. Okay. Can you move while you're doing it. Yes, you can. Wow, okay. And it's ranged as well. Holy crap. Right, so I could have hit I could have hit that snake monster with one of those every time it surfaced. But instead I was doing it like twenty damage with like a normal strike. Unbelievable. So no, it wasn't intended to take as long as me. <laughs> That's what we've learned there. Right, so this is the mammoth graveyard. Now I've got poison. I'm going to heal myself. And I'm going to heal my dog. Nicey nice. Okay, right, so through the mammoth graveyard. Not into the swamp yet. No. Probably still going the right way. Ish. Ok, 
Okay, right, that's the. This is where we fought the dinosaurs and got the dino skin on. Oh, I can see above. I can see just up, up there is the uh, volcano. Fucking hell. It's dinosaurs, man. Oh, meant <laughs> to hit the raptor. This is all about taking the correct geysers and the correct cave entrances and stuff. Uh, and there's no real way of telling what anything does before we've done it, so I have to guess, I guess. Right, okay, so. This geyser. Geyser. Here yeah, there's only one thing to do, which is take the geyser again. That can't be up. Okay. One more route up. I have two routes up. Why the route up on the left? Okay, and that takes us to cave entrance, so one thing to do here. That punts us all the way back out, so that's no good. No. Take the guys there. Take, the guy. take this guy's there. Left, that pumps back out here, which is just to take this back a little bit. So we want the guys are on the right still then. Going the quick route we haven't tried. Um, only one thing to do here, and it's go in this cave. Oh no, 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 no. something. That cable could there. That one will kick us all the way out, yeah? Understand what I missed. Right, okay, to must remove the two grass weed patches left of the lowest geyser to reveal a secret geyser. God damn it. Okay, fine. This game. This game. It's a bit of a nightmare in some ways. Okay, right, so that takes us to... Okay, this chest that we couldn't go to before. Play. And we have another geyser which we could take. Have cave entrance. Ooh. Okay, that's taken us to a geyser and a cave entrance. Go on, cave entrance. Let's take it. Okay. Go down here. 
Pick this guy up there. Okay, that's shots into the sky. And here we are, landing in the top of a volcano. Which is safe because it's cooling, as we've been told, of course. Another fine blend, nice nose, good colour. He is making a crazy potion on top of the volcano. You wouldn't know how to get into the volcano from here, would you? Volcano? No. None. None but the way that would turn adventure into ash and molten bones. Pardon me? The only way that I know the end to enter the volcano is straight into the crater. Of course, come to think of it, we could try the catacombs at the base of the volcano. I've seen a passage, but it's blocked by a big rock. Levitation, that's a good solution. You can lift rocks and other heavy objects by using the levitate formula. I'll give it to you right now. Sweet. One more to one mud pepper. I have a mud pepper. I found it in the swamp. Now you can use it with the levitate formula to lift heavy objects out of the way. Would you like to purchase ingredients? Uh, yes, I would. Okay, well. He doesn't have crystal. That's the thing we can't buy still. I don't think I've got any use for ash. I don't think. Let's, uh, let's just have a quick look at my alchemy formulas. Don't need ash. Um, I'm going to buy the clay while I can buy it. find someone who can will sell me crystal. What I'm learning is all the traders sell different stuff. Hey, so I'm just um, just c coming back to this game after a few days of not playing it. Uh, I'm going to sl splice this into the last bit of the episode that I had because, uh, yeah, last time I played this, I lost about an hour's progress um, just through my own fault of like not saving the game. Um, but an astonishing 45 minutes of that was spent going around the same um, maze, um, not knowing in any way which way I should go. So that wasn't great footage anyway. Um, so it's getting cut, and I'm now coming back with um, with a guide who will tell me how to get around that maze. So I'll let you know when we get to that point. Anyway, we're heading back to the volcano now. Ow. Should use a petal because we finding petals. Okay, so what we're looking for is the stone that we couldn't ever take before. And some water. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, yeah, so the, the way into the volcano is below all this. Levitate. Look at that. We are lifting that rock and we are going into the volcano. done this dungeon once. I can tell you it's not too bad. Uh, the basic structure of it is quite a lot of these entrances are blocked off by rocks so it's a question of finding the mud peppers so that you can cast levitate and then coming back to the points where the rocks are, moving them out of the way and then eventually you get into a bit that is a complete, an absolute complete fucking nightmare. For which I've now got some directions. I think we won't get lost in again. You'll be able to tell if I get lost in that area again because I will just like throw my laptop through a window or something. That's uh, I was getting really quite cross with it. <laughs> One of those elements of sort of fuck you game design that uh, this game seems to excel at. Which is a shame because when it's good, it's really good. I like the story. Yeah. Uh, okay, right, so. I can see two chests down there. If I get into that part. To talent. Cool. So, to actually get further, I was going the right way. Ready? A pepper, cool. Take this rock out of the way. Head on through here. Hey, one thing I'm forgetting is charge attacks are good. Okay. 
boulder there. Route round to the left. Monsters, three more monsters. Definitely be good to get a charge attack on the go if I can. If we can hit both of them. Yes. The charge attacks are good. What you found, boy? Got wax. Nice. Okay. And roots. Okay, no mud pepper as of yet. That's also no good. Okay. missing something, but I don't know what is kind of the nature of missing something, isn't it? Right, anyway, so definitely nothing there. Okay, through, through the first area that we blocked. Thank you. 
Still, that's an improvement on Secret Manor. On Secret Manor, if your companion got, like, locked in on something, then uh, you were fucked because you, you couldn't leave without them. Um, yeah, it's, there is nothing here apart from this rock. It needs to be levitated. I assume it needs, uh, this one does need to be levitated as well, right? There's no way to just push it off. Oh, there is. Okay, there we are. That's that's what we were missing. So we can do that here as well. Then it just kind of like. Surprise, here's a new mechanic that we didn't tell you about before. You can now knock rocks down by hitting them with your spear. Uh, okay, right, so mud pepper. Yes, good. Now we get to it. So, mud pepper on that rock. And it make the. It's just an, exa it's an example of design that's not very good because. Sprite for the rock is exactly the same, and, we, and this it's just showed us that the way you move a rock is by levitating it. So then it introduces rocks that you don't have to levitate in the dungeon, which is all about levitating rocks. Ugh. Let's see if I can get a charge attack going. Both of one. Okay, well, we got one of them. Ugh. Buzz reaches level 13. Nice. Must be a mud pepper then? Yeah? No, it's petals. Okay. Let's use petals on the dog. Found a petal. We've reached a point where the dog is harder than Buzz. Okay, what's up here? Four parts ash. Just exploring some caverns. identical looking cabins. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, the dog's definitely harder than Buzz now. Oh no. I didn't mean to go down there. But uh, it's okay. Three parts water. Great. And whatever you found. Mash. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do a quick heal on us both. Weird that parts is a um, is a unit of measurement in this game. Parts usually only works relative to other parts, right? It's like not an actual unit. Oh well, that is very pedantic and not something I don't think anyone not something I think anyone cares about. But I've said it now, so it's recorded for all time. Ow. I could probably ignore these monsters to a large degree, but I want the XP. That's a problem. Dicked into it. Ah. Like a little mini boss 
dude. We can tell because he's a different colour. I didn't let that fully charge us. There's any other route out of this bit, is there? Backtracking now. It's the entrance. No. I guess I've got to backtrack the whole way. Okay. Fine. Good, at least I noticed. Oh God, why is every part of this game a maze? Why did they think it would be fun to make people be lost constantly? Oh god. there. Got a mud pepper. So we just need to find the next rock that needed shifting. There it is. Are 
80 damage. Nice. Better heal ourselves as well. And then we will make with the levitate. Levitate. Right, cool, made it through there. And now we are chasing after this dinosaur. We are doing it in this suspiciously modern looking sewer system inside this prehistoric volcano. Um, yeah, now these currents, ooh, it's quite hard to go against them and they will sort of wash you around this maze thing and you if you just go the way the currents let you, then you just go around in circles forever. Uh, if you try and find your way without directions, my experience is also that you will end up going round and round in circles forever. Um, from a story point of view, I'm interested because I want to know why this sewer is here. Um, but there we are. Uh, okay, so I've got directions this time. Enter left side, go up, left, up, left, 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 down, down. Jesus Christ. Up, left, up, left. Okay. Going up, left, up. Did it mean... I don't even know. Okay. So we were going... Up left. 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 Down, down. Whoa, 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 whoa! Found us a switch which we were looking for. Okay, so. Oh! Not all vipers are savages, you know. We were once peaceful, but the desire for power was too strong. Now there's someone leading the vipers and the raptors in order to take over. If you fight this force, we may be peaceful again. Would you like for me to record your progress? You're goddamn right, I would. Um, yeah, so the last time I got into this maze, I. Um, I spent 45 minutes going around these pipes without ever ending up in this room. Okay, right, so from left to start, go left for clay one, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about any of that. Actually, maybe... I don't know, okay, I think we do need, we need to talk about that, right, so... Left start, go left for clay one. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Enter right side and go up for entry to the boss. because it's got like even the directions that I'm looking at it's got some of them are highlighted some of them aren't and I don't know if I need to do all of it okay I'm 
<laughs> okay. So difficult to even get to the entrance you're trying to get to as well, even if you know where you want to get. Ah. No. Nope. Right, so it's really, really simple if you just follow follow the directions you've got. Oh shit. Hello, kiddo. She a relative of fire ice, do you think? Fire ice? Yeah, she's not fire ice. Hey sis, hot enough for you? Who are you? Who do you think? I'm your evil twin, and I'm here to take over. As hot as it may be inside the volcano, the temperature is dropping outside. Because I'm cutting it off at the source. If the world freezes, my village will die out. That's the idea. Then my vipers and I can, can take control over your world. Okay, I'm seeing a huge flaw in this plan. I mean, create an ice age then. I would think the reptilian people are the least likely to survive. much as I'd like to chat, sister, I've got work to do. So if you'll forgive me, I'm going to make you go away now. Is that so? Say hello to my pet rock. Well, yep, that's a rock. Okay, and it's... It's not fucking around in terms of how much damage it deals. Charge attacks on the go. Okay, right. Jumped into the lava and it healed itself for 60 when it did it. It's worth remembering. But I just dealt it 210, so I think we're going to be alright. I've turned up with a nigh infinite amount of healing again. Got like 90 hits. Dealt it another 200 or so. Hang on, let's do heal. hell is going on? I think it cast some sort of alchemy and it interrupted my attack. Healed himself for more as well.
Out of the lava. Missed. Again, a real nice sort of, a real nice improvement to this game would have been if you could tell how many hit points the bad guys had somehow. Even if it was an alchemy to do it, like it was a magic to do it in secret manner. And it would be real nice to know how, how close you were to defeating a boss. Yes! Turns out we're very close. This is sweet. Okay, Fire Eyes Evil Twin, what are you going to say now? Okay, okay, you've won the battle, Buzz, but not the war. You want heat? I'll give you heat. So long, suckers. Ah, I hate it when people call me a sucker. A weird bit volcano reactor thing is exploding. That doesn't sound good. Oh, this is very reminiscent of Secret of Mana. Like being shot out of a cannon. Okay. We've landed in a. a piece of. I guess it's a piece of volcanic basalt, and that's why it's floating in the water, right? <laughs> Look at the dog's face. I'm falling down a waterfall again, very, very secret about her. Hours later. Oh shit, son. We're in a completely different place. Oh, for all its faults, I love this game. Whoa. Now I know how dandy Don Carlisle felt in Sink Boat Sink. I think I've got water in every orifice, pocket and pore. Hmm, no sign of dog. Dog? Nope. Better look around. Well, it's certainly playing seafaring music, isn't it? Hang on. Go back, this looks like the more sort of town-like area. Probably the more save gamey type area. Okay. Ah, oh, the floodwaters are a scourge, they are. <laughs> I'm not going to do pirate voice. Uh, my brother Tiny is the strongest man in these parts. I wish he could make some friends. I 
can't talk. Busy punching. Do you mind? I'm trying to hit each other here. <laughs> there are tales of hidden treasure and jewels in the land across the river. I'd go there, but I think I'll wait until the weather clears up. We may talk tough in Crustacea, but we're pretty harmless. Rogues on the West Bank are much meaner. Treasures on the West Bank are very valuable indeed. The leader of Nobilia has posted a fine reward for them. If I found them, though, I might just keep them for myself. Ugh. I want to get to the bar and talk to that guy, but... Ugh. So annoying. <laughs> Yeah. You're not after treasure and riches like the rest of these lights, are you? The last thing we need is more adventurers here. Okay. And some wax. Uh, okay. Well, I'm in a new place. I can't save my game yet, and I've lost my dog. That's where we are. Oh, hello. Whoa! I thought he was going to be. Thought he was going to want to talk to me. Ow! 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 Oh, confounded again! And I wasn't even healed from the last time I got confounded. To be honest, right, let's get out of this screen if we can. Adorable. I have a variety of items for sale. I can offer them to you for a very fair price. What can I do for you? Nectar. All right. I'm sensing that there is going to be somewhere to save game in this town. There's a shop, right? There must be an inn. That's just logic. Let's try it up here. Found something. City leader has posted a reward for the treasures on the other side of the river. I'm going after them, I am. Ugh. Get out of the doorway, you asshole. Since the river waters have risen, some of the adventuring types have been staying inside. And some clay, and some nectar. Treasure to be found on the west bank of the river, and I'm the one who's going to find it. Do you think there might be treasure on the west bank of the river? Just, just a, a sense that I'm getting. Find some water. And this looks like it's... Is this an inn? Ahoy, matey! Welcome to my inn. Please stay and rest. There's only 20 jewels. I don't have any jewels. Uh, oh, but I can save. Great. Good. That was the important thing. Also, we've changed currencies. Interesting. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I'm going to call the episode here then. Um, yeah, that pipe maze, uh, that sewer pipe thing, absolutely awful. Um, just, I know it looked okay in the in this version of the video, but I can assure you it's not. Uh, if you're thinking it might be fun to navigate that area without following this video or some other guide, don't because it won't, it'll be just awful um, but beyond that um, yeah 
uh, here we are in a, in a brand new place, which is awesome. Um, we seem to be in a completely different time period. Uh, I'm really looking forward to finding out what happens next. Uh, I've enjoyed playing, and I hope that you've enjoyed watching along.